and your Kansas City Speeders have won the state championship led by senior running back Riley Fast. The big question is now, where is Riley Fast going to attend college? There's a lot of options out there. Kansas, Kansas State, uh, a lot of uh, schools in Missouri right now, but everyone's wondering right now where he's going to end up. This guy is easily the fastest running back in football right now. There are so many colleges that want this kid right now on their football team. He could be a day one starter for all of them. Welcome back to the KSFL Radio Network. Joey Johnson here. I'm joined once again with Jacob Paxton. And today we're going to be talking about one of the youngest Bright Stars who just signed with the Missouri Tigers, uh, Riley Fast. One of the fastest players in football that I've ever seen. Uh, and here he is at running back, fourth on the depth chart, mind you, that we, we just we just found out. when he, If he would have went with free safety, which he was also offered free safety... He could have been starting day one as a freshman for this team, like easily. But you know, he decides oh. running backs what I want to do. And I, I think this was a very interesting decision from Riley Fast, um, because uh, of course you know he has played more in as a running back. You know his, his secondary is only in the nickel formation, so he's got to be even lucky to go out there. And while he did rack up the numbers on defense, I feel like his true heart and his main game is on the offense, rushing, pounding at the defense, and I feel like he's probably made the right decision. However, that depth chart does scare me because they are stacked and loaded at running back. So the fact that he is fourth on the depth chart, that kind of scares me. But so he, he might take a little bit of time to develop. Uh, I'd say that he would he might have to do all four years to get the best draft value possible. Yeah, I think he, I think he's going to develop really quick. I personally think, I predict, I'm predicting right here, you'll hear it here first, I think he's going to have the starting job before the season's up. Um, yes, he's fourth on the depth chart, but this kid, I, I, this kid is incredible. And that's my prediction, but we'll have to wait and see if uh, he'll, I mean, they already got a senior running back in uh, Kevin Casey right now. And uh, he's played some decent football, but um, uh, but I think by the year's end, by season end, uh, it's definitely going to be Riley Fast's uh, position. And if not this year, by next year, for sure. And I, I think you're right about this. I think that there's 100% chance of possibility of him actually being first and the starter on that depth chart. Because, you know, injuries are a big game part of the game of football. You know, you know, his speed, his athleticism, everything about him could also boost him over those other running backs. And I feel like it's all behind the scenes stuff that can really affect this. And obviously, you know, we don't have any control. We don't have any influence. But if the media influences, influences him to go hard and to really get at it, that just proves how strong. He is. Yeah, he's he's hands down the fastest player on the team uh, as a freshman, but we're going to follow his career and uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back next time. All right, 
right, guys, welcome back to the KSFL Radio Network. Joey Johnson along. Jacob Paxton once again. Man, what did I tell you at the beginning? Man, what a, what a kid. What I mean, I he's really you? proved Riley himself. Fast has went all the way past the depth charts, and he is going to be starting his first game against Baylor uh, this this week. So uh, he, I, I just can't believe I mean, I can't believe it. I can believe it, but yeah. I can't believe how this freshman – is now starting over three other guys, one of them being a senior who has proved to be a decent running back. But, you know, with his injury last week, you know, they didn't get Riley Fast involved last week at all. They they put in uh, the other guys, but they said that uh, he's going to be starting this week against Baylor. So I, I'm curious of how the approach they're going to have with this. I personally think they're going to ease him into it a little bit. I think they're going to pass a little bit more than usual. Um, and maybe he can get some receptions, um, but I don't, I don't see them running the football too much. They, they'll give him a couple times, give him, give him a little feel, and then maybe by next week or the week after, they'll, they'll start giving him the ball more. I mean, you know, it's a big decision letting a, a freshman kid like this start over all your other three running backs that have been there for more than one season, so... Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the the official injury report report has said that he's at least three weeks out. So, oh, that's plenty of three, time for Riley three weeks to take over this team. Plenty of time to <laughs> prove his worth. And I feel like they should start to. I feel like they should run the ball more than they should pass it, uh, because we've seen what Riley Fast could do in high school rushing. But his 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 receiving kind of lacked, and I feel as if as long as they can improve on the receiving end, I think this kid's gonna be, he's gonna be a one shot wonder. I mean, he's he's gonna get out of here as soon as possible, get into the draft, and I think he's gonna be a good kid. I mean, we're to, this kid's a freshman. We're already talking about NFL. That's crazy. throw it it's gonna go to Riley fast the running back breaks the tackle gets into the end zone for the touchdown for Missouri and it's Riley fast first college career touchdown in his first college career start at running back what a play pass is going to be to Riley fast and he's going to pick up the first down and the handoff goes to Riley Fast. He's going to take it around. Breaks a tackle. It is in open field. He's going to get tackled near the one-yard line. What a run for the young running back, Riley Fast, as he nearly takes it into the end zone. And here's the handoff to Fast to the right side. He's going to break off with speed. He's going to get all the way for a first down for the Missouri Tigers, it's another first down for Missouri. What a fast running back as he bursts through for the first down. the pass he's gonna look throws fires to Riley fast he's in the end zone for a touchdown here is another handoff Riley fast they're not gonna catch him until the past the 35 yard line what a game Welcome back to the KSFL Radio Network, back with Joey Johnson here, and uh, the Missouri Tigers just concluded their season uh, with Riley Fast ending as the starting running back. Um, he started the um, the last two games of the season 
um, versus uh, Baylor and Texas. Uh, he played very well in the first game. He only had about 25 yards. Uh, or Actually, was, I think it was 28, yeah, 28 yards rushing and uh, did not score a rushing touchdown, but he had a receiving touchdown. And in the second game, he actually scored two rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown. So he had three total touchdowns and over 150 total yards uh, bringing the Missouri Tigers to victory. In those last two games, they went 6-6. Six and six. So he, he won the last two games for him pretty much, and um, he played really well. He led that offense tremendously, and they eased him in in his first start and everything. So And then the second start, he did pretty good as well. Like He, he exploded in the second game, let's be honest. But now the rumors are starting to swirl around that Riley Fast might be looking into transferring from Missouri already after his first freshman season. And there aren't any, uh, there aren't any uh, confirmed reasons why this is, um, but sources tell me that uh, Riley Fast is looking to transfer to a new school. Um, we'll keep you updated here. But um, again, I don't know if there was... Um, some issues with some stuff maybe throughout the season he felt like maybe he was undervalued in some way uh maybe that could be a thing um but uh, there's a couple of places he might look into transferring and we'll keep you posted here of course but um as of right now riley fast completes his first first freshman his first college season uh with mizzou only uh, starting two games but um We'll see where his career goes from here, and he's been a dominant force through um, through everything. So um, we saw him the potential he had in that last game. So who knows where he could end up uh, starting uh, next college football season? But anyways, that's gonna do it for Joey Johnson here. Thanks for joining me here on the KSFL Radio Network. We'll see you here next week. <laughs>